University student who was returned to the United States this week after being held in North Korea for 17 months has a severe brain injury and is in a state of unresponsive wakefulness, doctors said on Thursday. Otto Warmier, 22, who arrived in the United States on Tuesday, is stable but shows no sign of understanding language, responding to verbal commands or awareness of his surrounding, said Dr. Daniel Cantor, medical director of the Neuroscience Intensive Care Unit at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. He has not spoken, Cantor said at a news conference. He has not engaged in any purposeful movements or behaviors. He said Warmier was breathing on his own. Daily emails and alerts get the best of Newsweek delivered to your inbox Warmier, from Wyoming, Ohio, has been in a coma since March 2016, shortly after he was sentenced to 15 years of hard labor in North Korea, his family said on Tuesday. He was arrested for trying to steal an item bearing a propaganda slogan, North Korean media reported. He was visiting North Korea with a tour group. On Thursday North Korea said that it had released Warmier on humanitarian grounds. The University of Virginia STUDNT and APOS's father, Fred Warmier, said at an earlier news conference that his son had been brutalized and terrorized by the North Korean government. Fred Warmier said the family did not believe North Korea and APOS's story that his son had fallen into a coma after contracting botulism and being given a sleeping pill. Doctors said on Thursday that there was no sign of botulism in Otto Warmier and APOS's system. Cantor said that Warmier had suffered extensive loss of brain tissue in all regions of the brain, but he declined to discuss WARMBIER and APOS's prognosis at the request of his family. While doctors are uncertain as to what exactly caused the condition, cardiac arrest that stops the flow of blood to the brain is generally seen as a result.